Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. This video is going to be really awesome because we're going to start adding nodes to the DOM dynamically in JavaScript, which should be really cool. Now, before we get started, you got to check out our sponsor. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So how's this going to work? Well, what I want to do is I want it to where I click this button and something is appended to this list here. Consider this like the basics or the basis for maybe a to-do list. And we want to add to-do list items. So what's this going to look like? First thing, I want to get a reference to this button. So this button is right here and has ID click me. So say document get element by ID click me and we will assign this to a variable so we can reference it. So we'll say let button and assign that. And on click we want something to happen. So we'll say button on click and assign it a function. So the way you create an element is you say document dot create element and then you can pass in the type of element and we will pass in a list item. So we want to add another list item to this list. Now, what does a list item require? It actually requires us to set the text for it. So here's how you would do that. First things first, let's just console log this node that we just created. Uh, let's assign it to a variable called node. We'll say let node like so. So we can console log it, click the button, and we get this list item, but there's nothing inside of it. So to do that, we actually need to make a text node to put inside of it. So to do this, we can say document.createTextNode, and we put the value here, such as new, and you can assign this to a variable or you can use it directly. So what we'll do is just say node.appendChild and pass this in. So refresh, click me now, and then look at that. We got list item new. Now, in order to get this list item to show up on the page, all we gotta do is append it to this original ordered list. So in the HTML, we have this ordered list here. That's what we're going to do. So let's give this an ID. We'll say items. And let's change up some of this stuff inside just so it makes a little bit more sense. So maybe this is clean house, upload vids, eat Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. All right, now we can access this ordered list by using the ID. So we'll say let list document get element by ID items. So, so that's our list. And then all we do is say list dot append child. And what are we going to append? We're going to append this original node. So pass that in right here. There we go. Refresh, click and look at that. We're getting new items. So the structure is we start with this node, which is the empty list item. We append a text node and then we append the entire thing to the list. Now something cool we could do is actually put the thing we want to add inside of this text box. So instead of putting just text here, what we could actually do is put the value for this input. So to do that, we can just say document .get element by ID. I think the ID is input and then just say value, not node value, just value. All right, refresh, do that, and you can see it says stuff. Change the input, and there we go. That's pretty cool. Now there's a lot of different methods we could use to determine where we want this thing to be put. You can look up those if you want. So instead of append child, you can use insert before, and then there's various tricks you can use to, to put it second or third or whatever you want to do. Now what I would challenge you guys to do is figure out how to remove an element. So if you want to do that, you can look up how to use the remove child method, and that'll teach you how to do that. So that is how you can add nodes to the DOM. Pretty useful, pretty cool. I know we're not creating some beautiful app, but with enough time it would get there because we can make this super awesome shopping list and you know deploy it on the app store, make millions. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the next video. It's a really important one, as always, but it's extra special. So be sure to check it out.